Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're looking for a basic uh, video editor um, for your uh, for your basic projects like uh, editing, adding some uh, video effects, transitioning, or merging multiple videos, but you don't want to install any additional software, neither you want to pay for you know any any commercial licenses, then this is the video that you're looking for. In Windows 10, you actually have a built-in um, video editor that comes you know right with the box. So I'm going to tell you how you can um, you know make use of that video editor. So let's get started. So as you can see I'm on my computer right now and to be able to merge or join the videos together we will be making the use of the default app in your Windows computer and that is known as photos. So just start your windows and just start typing photos and you, you can see the first uh, app that comes out called photos is the app that we'll be using in this tutorial. So if you are using this app for the first time, it will probably gonna take some time to load, you know, all the photos that uh, you have in your computer. But uh, since I've already used this app, so it just starts right, right there. And on the top, you can see there's a button called video editor. So we're gonna use the video editor of the photos app. So this is how we're gonna skip the use of installing any other software because the video editor is right built in in your photos app. How cool is that, no? So what you need to do, you actually need to start a new project in your video editor. So click on the plus button on left. And uh, I'm gonna name it as merging of the videos. So this is the name of the project that I'm gonna give. Click OK. And you can see the project library is uh, currently empty. So and now it's the time to import all the videos that you want to merge. So it can be two videos or it can be more than two videos. So in my example, I'm gonna, let's say, import these three videos. So just drag and drop it over the video library like that. And it will add the files in your project library section. And to start either editing or just merging the files, you, you actually need to drop the three files onto the timeline or the story storyboard on the bottom. So like that, just drop it right there. And the files will be uh, arranged alphabetically. However, if you like to change the order of the merging or joining the files, you can actually drag in on the file uh, just by holding the cursor, holding the mouse pointer. And as you can see, the three files are actually two minutes, two minutes and three minutes in length. So you can see the com combined file is going to be like, you know, close to eight minutes. So you can actually, uh, you know, before even starting the uh, conversion process, you can actually see, you know, how your video is going to look like after conversion. And another interesting thing, you know, that I like about the video editor is that, you know, it has like a lot of features like that. You can actually trim the video, you can split the videos, you can write add text to the videos, you know, you can have, you can add uh, 3D effects, you can uh, increase or decrease the speed of the video, you know, there are like different effects um, in the, in the video editor. So, you know, even without any um, third party software, like, you know, Adobe Premiere or maybe, you know, any paid software, you can actually do your work, you know, pretty good. So, you know, that's, uh, that's what I like about video editor, that it comes with your windows, you know, by default, you don't need to install anything. And uh, it has like, you know, a lot of important things that you actually need, you know, for a basic project. And once you're done with the editing, just head on to the top right and click on that export button known as finish video. So once you do that, you can actually choose the quality of the video. Um, currently, you can see that, you know, it says 1080p is the recommended and the maximum quality available. And maybe because, you know, my three videos are actually 1080p in size in quality so that's why you know i don't have any other option but i'm actually okay with it so i'm gonna just select the 1080p option and click the export button uh, give it a name and your location of the file and click the export button and give it some time the conversion time will actually depend on two things uh, first is your computer speed and second is the length or you know the size of the video files that you're trying to convert and as you can see you know once the conversion has been done um, the three merged videos actually starts playing you know uh, right there so you can see you know that's the videos merged right there so those are the converted videos you know merged together uh, right there and, and see how easy it is to actually use the video editor of the photos app in your windows 10 computer and the best thing you don't need an additional software so this editor gets a thumbs up from me and this concludes our video I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.